to make home feel cozy. Let's talk about it. But before, remember, this is your home and you have to feel how, how do you want to feel in your home. But if something resonates with you, you can relate to my advice, you're welcome. <laughs> Typically wood, wicker, sisal, fabrics, a lot of fabrics, um, a lot of textures, fabrics with patterns, warm colors, light colors, pastel colors, can make home feel warm. Obviously, <laughs> I mean, it sounds logical. Okay, so next, light, lighting. It would be the best if you could get um, different kind of light, uh, ceiling light, floor lamps, table lamps, wall lights, um, and it could be dimmable. That would be great. For example, a scenario, uh, you are watching TV, sitting on the couch, um, there is a blanket over you and everything is great. You are drinking a hot beverage and if you are imagining it, how you are imagining it? Um, could be daylight, but in my head the first thing is that it is evening and the room is kind of dark, but there is a floor lamp with warm light and it's low, it's kind of low, it's not bright and that could make a big impact to make the mood home-like intimate home-like feeling will give furniture like tuft, tufted furniture um, fireplace, yes, <laughs> that's great if you have it um, then uh, furniture made from wood, of course in light colors could be bright then you have to style it properly but if you go with light warm wood then you look good I think <laughs> you can't mess that up maybe you can mm. if you do it do it and show me the pictures <laughs> let's see and yes then I want to talk about accessories first books yes I don't know, books kind of are go-to when you want to make home feel cozy. And uh, also on that topic, uh, DIYs are great if you want to give your home personality. And that's kind of your personality. Um, that's great. And what I did, <laughs> I did it kind of fast and I didn't... Uh, but I took a gosh. I took these uh, paper bags and so here is the store whatever and like here is nothing so I flip it over I cut it flip it over and I made book covers so because you can make DIYs but if you make it um, try to keep the style that you have in the interior so I wanted to my interior is kind of clean so I wanted to make my books look clean and you could say oh you don't even know which books are <laughs> those books first of all I read them all and I I mean I don't have many books so I know which one is what but you can write on it like what word is it? <laughs> um, yeah, so DIYs are great. Um, also about accessories. Uh, a lot of vases, 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 a lot of vases, um, mugs, bowls. Mm. Ah, yes, candles. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't advise to overdo the candles because uh, candles that are made from paraffin flask when it is burned it can uh, develop toxic fumes so be careful oh yes a lot of plants uh, that's so great because it gives this sense of nature in your home also carpets are important it can bring everything together 
for example, in your living room, you put a carpet. Uh, I will show some ways how you can put the carpet in your room and yeah, it brings everything together. Also, there are rugs you can overlap. Um, not really um, popular thing to do here in Latvia at least, but it can give this also like feeling of coziness. And it's getting super dark and I'm gonna wait when it's get lighter. <laughs> or maybe it's not gonna. It's starting to rain. I don't know how much I can fit into this video, but I want to say also the styles that are naturally interior design styles that are naturally home-like. It's kind of... I don't know how to explain. I mean, these styles have these kind of um, tips that I said, like um, materials, patterns, uh, colors, lights. So, one of the most cozy style is Bohemian. A lot of wicker. Um, warm tones. Then there are these styles like cottage, country, coastal, farmhouse, yes, farmhouse. Um, I like mid-century as well. For me at least, I feel like it's, it's giving off these cozy vibes for me. And that's the thing, you have to, you have to decide what, what is cozy to you. And then there is these traditional styles. I'm not gonna say traditional because traditional style is the style on its own, but I'm talking about like for example Scandinavian. Uh, Scandinavian style is typically traditional for people from Scandinavian region. So basically these are these styles that are from your country your culture, it's traditional for your culture because for some people it can give strong emotional bond because it is connected with their memories, with traditions <laughs> and yeah, if that is something you like you should go for it. Hopefully you can use my advice. Uh, it's starting to rain, it's starting to get super dark so I'm gonna end this. <laughs> Thank you for watching, if, if there is more questions, ask in the comments.